Good afternoon, Pastor David. Hey, John. Welcome everybody to Unfiltered. Uh, Pastor, today I wanted to ask you, there's this buzz going around with this movie that has just recently come out called The Jesus Movement. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's interesting how uh, it's getting, uh, I think it's getting a good draw where people are really interested to get kind of a glimpse of what the Jesus movement was about. I'm not sure if a movie really encapsulates that. But interesting enough, then recently there has been a quote unquote revival in Ashbury, Kentucky. And now the swirl is going around like the Jesus movement movies out, uh, another version of the Jesus movement may be happening. And all these things around the Jesus movement and, and this Ashbury University revival is broken out. And now people are comparing it to the Jesus movement. <laughs> what are your thoughts about this? Uh, my, my thoughts about that is, um, and they're kind of, kind of basic. Um, first, I would say we all are praying that God will awaken the United States. We're, we're, we're praying that the churches will revive because revival is really a reference to the church itself. You can't revive a dead nation. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, what you revive is the church, and the church awakens and then does the work that God has called us to do. And so on the one hand, um, many of us, many pastors, many Christians, many churches have been praying that the Lord would do a revival, that He would awaken us. And in the revivals that, that you see in Scripture, like Josiah's revival yeah. and all, you know, there's a tearing down of the uh, places of idolatry, there's a, a return to the Word of God. You know, there are things that, that reflect or reveal that something very real was taking place in the honoring of the Word of God and in the removing and destroying of those things that He disapproves of. A genuine revival is going to have those elements, you know, of true repentance and transformation. Mm -hmm. And so, in Asbury, there at the uh, Methodist Seminary, there have been times in, in my history of walking with the Lord where there have been um, student kinds of uh, uh, led things that where chapel services go for some time and all. And I, I don't know that, that that is necessarily a revival or if that is something that is uh, emotion driven. I don't mm -hmm. know. It takes a while to see because the fruit of revival is something that lasts. I got saved in a in a real revival with what was referred to as the Jesus Movement. And uh, my, my awakening through the teaching of the Word and repentance uh, led to 52 years of walking with the Lord wow. and 49 years of serving as a teacher and, and later into and pastoral ministry. So there was a true revival that I experienced and quite a num number of others have. I think this recent movie that's been brought out, I forget what it's called, Jesus Revolution or something of that nature. I haven't seen it. But I think what it is, is it's a movie to portray something that happened with an encouragement for people to uh, come to faith in Christ and also for the church to awaken. It's a reminder of what God did a very in, when He moved through Calvary Chapel of Costa Mesa's pastor uh, Pastor Chuck and how Chuck influenced uh, many of us. I, I know that that the movie that has come out is 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 a portrait, you know, or uh, perhaps a memory of uh, Pastor Greg, you know, Greg Laurie, you know, and and he had a burden and and um, he was able to put out a movie that that from his point of view um, kind of reported what God did. Uh, and I, I still remember when Chuck, my pastor, came here the first time and he was sharing many, many years ago now with our church. I remember how he said, he mentioned my name to the church and he said, you know, David was there at the, uh, in Costa Mesa and in the early days of how things, uh, God was moving. But he went on to say, not only was he, but thousands of others mm -hmm. were too. And that helped me to keep things in balance because uh, the Jesus movement was not built on Chuck Smith and it wasn't built on, on those of us who went through that, that time. Yeah, the Jesus movement has always been built on Jesus Christ, who's the same yesterday, today, Amen. and forever. And so um, I, I think movies like this help to spark the interest that people may have 
but you cannot duplicate something. God has to originate it. It has to be something He does. And, and, and revival is, is going to be built on His Word, a return to the Word of God. It's going to be built on an honest repentance and seeking of God. And, and it's not necessarily an emotional thing. When I got saved, because I came out of darkness in the way I did at that early age, you know, I had a, uh, an emotional um, kind, of, kind of response to the salvation I received. I had the gladness and the joy of salvation. But when my girlfriend, Marie, when she was my girlfriend, when she got saved, she didn't have that. She just had this settled sense that I'm right with God now and I'm going to move on with Him. See, so I think sometimes when we confuse emotion with repentance mm -hmm. and emotion with the Spirit moving... Uh, we make a mistake, and in Asbury right now, um, there seems to be uh, a lot of emotion. I don't know for sure. Of course, I haven't gone there. I have no need to. But um, there are those who are making their trek. They're leaving their churches. They want to get in on this. And uh, if this is not a genuine work of the Spirit, it's a waste of time to go and try and sit in there and soak in something that is actually being generated by emotions and feelings of those things. Um, there have been attempts and counterfeits at revivals. You know, there was uh, something going on in Florida several yeah, years ago yeah. and something up in Toronto going, you know, and, and it, was, uh, it wasn't a real revival. It was not centered on the Word of God. It was centered on signs and wonders. Yeah. It was centered on things that are extraneous. You know, the thing that changes lives is not the uh, the belief in miracles, you know. Paul said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for in it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also for the Gentile. So the it's the gospel that, that gives life. It's it's not it's not the emotions that we can experience in a holy moment. And and my pastor used to say it doesn't matter how high you jump, it's how straight you walk mm -hmm. when you land. Mm -hmm. And so as a Calvary Chapel, and, and we are charismatic in the sense that we do believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. We believe in the gifts of the Spirit. We believe that God still speaks to us through His Word mm -hmm. and leads us by His Spirit. And, uh, and I'll, uh, I, I, I would wait and see. I have a wait and see attitude. But there's no reason for me to jump in a plane or take a car or, or train to go to Asbury, Kentucky. It's, you know, to the to to Kentucky, I believe that's where Asbury is, and uh, you know, to sit in there because my God can meet me here. He can meet Amen. me in my house. He does. He meets me when I drive my car to the office or whatever. God is everywhere, and I don't need to go somewhere to experience something. I already have. I got saved. Amen. And so for me, I have a wait and see attitude. I've seen this many times Amen. over the years in seminaries. This isn't the first quote unquote revival Asbury's had. It isn't the first. There have been others. There have been different places. And people will do that. John, they'll climb in their car. They'll drive over there. They want to sit in there and experience. Because I guess the Word of God and the power of the Spirit within them isn't enough. Mm. You know, for, mm. for me, um, I, I am not attracted to that. I, I, I want God to move here. I want Him to move in me. I want Him to move in our congregation. And and he is, and we're seeing God do some wonderful yes. things in our lives, and our church is growing spiritually mature, and uh, I'm excited about that. So what do I think? I always have the wait and see, John, and that's what I'm doing. Amen. I mean, again, it shows you a couple of things, how hungry our country is for revival, and, and it's, Asbury is not just any old thing, but how quickly people can fall for things if they're Absolutely. not careful. So, well, Pastor, thank you. We just got almost just under a minute left, and I want to invite our church family out to Wednesday night. Yeah. We have communion, and you're take, we just started the Romans book of Romans. One. And so I want to invite your friends and family to come on out. And then on Saturday, February 25th, we have our ministry morning, our servants morning for all of those who serve in our church. Come on out, 9 a.m. at the banquet hall, time of Q&A with Pastor David. You give us a devotion. Love it. And it's a great time just to have worship. So we thank you guys for tuning in. Pastor David, thank you so much. Of course. God bless you guys.